just doesn't make sense that something like this is in the ground. You know, we should be planting trees in the ground, not plastic and waste. My name's Callum and I like to volunteer at repair cafes and um, help community fix their things. So I'm going to have a look at today this um, little kitchen uh, blender or mixer. I can see already that what's happening is when this thing turns it should activate a switch and it's obviously disconnected or broken off there and so it's not turning on. If something does break I've always liked to just at least try and see what the problem is and I guess I'd like to encourage other people to have a go and do that because so often at our repair cafes we pull apart something, um, put it back together, um, have a little tinker, maybe give it a clean out and it works again and you don't have to have any electrical knowledge to do that. Um, just generally sort of look at it and give it a clean and put it back together and often you can have success that way. Okay, so we're getting inside this now so we can have a really good look. So a pretty simple device which is good. I really like the old stuff that um, doesn't have electronics. You know, something like a kitchen blender is a pretty simple thing. It really just needs a motor and a switch and something to munch up the food. This is a useful little tip for holding small components. If you put a rubber band around your pair of pliers like that, they can hold little items for you because often when you're assembling things, it's just a matter of trying, you need three hands and this can almost be a little third hand for you to hold something. This is what the problem is. Yeah, this little rod, um, which gets pushed by the top of the mixer when you push it in, has come out of its little slot there. Oh yeah, and I can see that little plastic tab is broken off. I think a bit of super glue is probably gonna get this thing back up and running just to put that back in its spot. Obviously you need to be really careful when you are um, handling any sort of electrical products um, and if you're not confident or confident in doing it, you shouldn't do it. I mean obviously the basic things are never ever work on something when it's plugged in so always make sure that there is no power to whatever you're working on. Take photos when you pull things apart, um, lay things out so that you can put them back exactly how they were. So a set of screwdrivers like this, um, a jeweler's set of screwdrivers can be quite useful. And then for the more trickier modern appliances which have a lot of um, what they call safety screws, you can um, buy these kits and they have all the different types of screws. Okay, so we're just putting it back together now with the switch rod in place, the one that broke. Um, so I'm just making sure we've got everything the same. Well, the interesting thing is, is that we actually had it so right not that long ago. You know, if you think of, you know, well, my parents and grandparents' generation, um, they often bought higher quality products that lasted them a long period of time. If they did break down, they were able to take them to a place to get serviced or repaired. You know, we used to repair televisions. But unfortunately now, um, our culture tends to be a lower cost product, um, which then gets thrown away and ends up in landfill, unfortunately. Repair cafes started popping up a number of years ago uh, all around the world and they've become a really good avenue for people who are um, increasingly um, sort of lost without a choice. And you know, look, not everything can be fixed but a lot of people really like the idea of if they've at least given it a go before it goes into landfill they've tried something. Thank you very much. Yeah, just, just being able to sit down and slowly tinker at something is, can be quite um, satisfying and obviously when you get something working again it's, um, and you don't have to throw it in the bin, it's um, even more satisfying. So you can see now when this comes in it activates the little switch. Okay, so we're going to plug it in and give it a go and we've spent about, I don't know, 20 minutes sort of pulling that apart and having a look and just found a little broken bit of plastic which we've glued back together um, and hopefully this thing will go for another 20 years. If something does break, don't throw it away immediately. Get online and have a look and maybe you could have a go at fixing it yourself and pull it apart. Um, so yeah, always look at trying to repair something before you uh, throw it into landfill.